Jeff Evans, guiding you to the summit of vision. And we know that when we're on the side of a mountain, we are connected by a rope. And this rope is a beautiful concept. If you know that it's there, it's empowering. It's a very physical, tangible, connecting object that makes me as an individual stronger. I know that I've got the people on my rope with me. And if I venture out on my own, I'm not near as strong as I am with this collective power of one. All of these people coming together for a common goal. Jeff Evans is a world-renowned climber and adventurer known for guiding the first blind climber to the summit of Mount Everest. Jeff's keynote presentations focus on themes that he has learned during his many years of adventuring, including teamwork, goal setting, commitment, and leadership. Jeff is also the owner-operator of Mountain Vision Expeditions, through which he guides adventurous clients on mountain climbing treks around the world. Jeff is the published author of the inspiring autobiography, Mountain Vision, Lessons Beyond the Summit. And to top it off, Jeff is also a practicing physician assistant, so his program for medically related conferences is especially relevant and powerful. Jeff Evans, guiding you to the summit of leadership. Well, there's a group of people that I've worked very closely with over the past uh, 20 years. A group of individuals that you know as the Sherpas, the Sherpa community in Nepal. I've done 11 Himalayan expeditions, and each time I'm out there with these guys, I gain more respect for them. I realize that what they do out there is selfless. They are trustworthy. They're committed. They're loyal. They go and get it done, and they don't complain. And by the way, they are strong like you read about. All the expeditions that I've done in the Himalayas, I'm going to paint a picture for you, and here's how it happens. I'm cruising up some mountain face. I've got a big, heavy pack on what I think is big, heavy. It's about 15 pounds. And I'm cruising up this face. And my little Sherpa buddy, who's about this tall, weighs about a buck ten, soaking wet, comes by me with a pack on that weighs about as much as I do, comes by me and looks at me and says, good job, good job, and then goes right by me all the way up. Two hours later, I get up to Ampasong Sherpa, and I'm like this, Ampasong, good job, good job. And there's Ampasong sitting on the rock, waiting for me. Very good, Mr. Jeff. You very, very strong. I ain't kidding you. Getting it done. Now, I want to show you, by way of imagery, exactly what I'm talking about here. Here I am, right over here, I've got all the best equipment money can buy, right? I got on the down suit and the expensive insulated water bottles and the oxygen systems and the nice expensive boots and check it out, all the best equipment money can buy. Now, look over at my buddy on Passong. He's got on like Oakley blades like my dad used to wear. He's got on a down jacket with duct tape and feathers flying out all over the place. He's carrying an oxygen bottle, but he's not even breathing it. He's carrying it for me. <laughs> Best part about Old Ampa Song, he's got on blue jeans. And they're not even Levi's. They're like Jordash or something. I don't, you know what you realize real quick? Rock star, sissy. Rock star, sissy. And I ain't afraid to admit it. It's the real deal. These guys go out and get it done. They don't complain, they don't whine about it being too short, too long, too heavy, too this, too that. And if you really think about it, they're going at it in a selfless way. They take care of the logistics, they get that product, me, from point A to point B, safely, efficiently, on time, problem solved, get it done. Jeff has spoken at countless conferences, corporate events, sales and management meetings, and fundraising events for many high-profile clients, including Level 3 Communications, The Hershey Company, UBS Bank, Sun Microsystems, Megadyne Medical Products, Tyson Foods, Avaya Communications, Thompson Delmar Publishing, MoneyGram International, State Farm Insurance, ESPN, Monsanto Agriculture, the United States Marine Corps, Aventus Pharmaceuticals, Kodak, and Suncor Energy. Jeff always works closely with each event host in customizing the content of his keynote, personalizing a message that will resonate with audience members for years to come. Jeff Evans, 
guiding you to the summit of teamwork. What occurred to me in that brief period we were on top of that mountain, 20 minutes we spent on the summit, two months to get up, two and a half month trip. I didn't learn one single thing on that summit for those 20 minutes, not one thing at all. But I can tell you, I learned so much about teamwork and leadership and commitment and accountability and execution. I learned about those things on the side of the mountain, nothing on top. And if you really think about it, life takes place on the side of the mountain, right? It really does. If you think about the summits in our lives, truly we only have a handful of summits, maybe a half dozen with its education and career, weddings, birth of a child. Those are the beautiful things, those summits in our lives. They're right there. They're only few. But the rest of life takes place on the side of the mountain every single day. You're falling down. You're getting up. You're brushing yourself off. You're moving on to the next thing. But life takes place on the side. From the summit of Mount Everest back to the boardroom, these messages work. Jeff has shared his vision with audiences around the globe, and now he's ready to bring it to you. One of our strangest, no, absolutely the strangest call to action, call to adventure, came over our desks. A guy named Mark Burnett contacted us and said, hey, we got this thing, we got this thing. And he's Australian, so he's, I've got this race. You know, I wonder if you'd care to participate. And uh, we said, well, what's this thing all about? And I said, I knew Mark Burnett only from Survivor, you know, and I said, is it Survivor? Because I ain't doing that. No way. He said, no, it's not Survivor. It's Expedition Impossible. Wouldn't it be humiliating to lose to a blind guy? <laughs> 